but and a couple of little triangles there. We'll try and get those in a while. Probably as we finish mowing. I did think of one thing though. So one of the reasons why I like doing round bales is because the round bale collector takes 24 bales and the square ones only take a maximum of 16. What I haven't done is compare the volume of a square bale with the volume of a round bale. But I'm pretty sure that round bale, if it's transporting large bales, can transport way more hay and silage than the square collector. And thus, it's just all around better producing big bales, especially for contracts where you're shipping pretty much everything that you make down to the store. So I'll do the same at the other end, we'll do, we'll clean up the corners and create a third row, come back to this side of the field and do alternates going up and back. Yeah, I'm, it's kind of a challenge. I mean, if I stacked bales, that flat trailer, which isn't a collector, we could use that to um, to transport big square bales. Maybe I should look into that. Okay, kind of back up there. Get as much of that as I can. Being there. Okay. Now this is the third row at this end. Oh, woohoo, internet back. Yeah, I had that. Oh, what was it? A couple of weeks ago. Um, Work day, I am due to take off Thursday because I had a doctor's appointment. So I'd taken, Thursday was a day off. And then Wednesday, the internet went down at nine o'clock. And um, basically they're upgrading all of the cabling in the area to, uh, to um, fiber. Well, one, they didn't tell me. And two, I'm supposed to be working. So I had to call someone at work to say, hey, I can't work today because I don't have any internet because my internet company didn't tell me. And then, yeah, two days off in a row, which wasn't too bad. Um, it did give me a chance to build some benches for my railway when I get a bit started but um, seriously polished off quite a number of benches that 
I'd kind of been procrastinating over. I'm now at the point where I can't make any more because I don't have all of the materials I need to make any more. Um, but need to go down to the lumber yard and pick up I think it's about 21 no. one by three lengths at six feet um, and that will give me enough to do what I need to do and then I can get back to sawing and screwing things together and just getting the last three benches done. And then I can start looking at putting things on top of the benches. And kind of leaving it, make the frames screw them together, see what area I've got to work with and then figure out detail later. Okay. <coughs> oh, that's two. And that didn't really... Oh, come on. I did not tell you to fold up. I'm going to have to check. You're still turned on with conditioner. That's good. Lower that. Turn it on. Cruise control. Turn off the help desk. And go, go, go. See, again, I haven't paid much attention to... Uh, to any new mods for farm sim lately. But, uh, I guess we'll... Uh, I'm kind of happy... See, the thing is, is I kind of... I, since farm sim 17, farm sim 17, I was pretty much downloading every single mod that came up. But right now, I've got all of the quality of life mods I want. And I've got enough equipment to cut well, all the eventualities. I can see this farm meeting. <coughs> but there may be a rare case where, oh, look, there's a truck, for, a tipper truck. I could use that for transporting grain. And maybe I'll add it. But... I'm really not paying much attention to the mods that show up. Consequently, I missed one a couple of weeks ago, which was a quick bail. So in game, we've or not in game, we got giants modded in the Vicon fast bail. I think it was an in game thing. Um, yeah, there's the fast bale, which isn't fast. It just means that when you're making the smallest round bales wrapped, it has a pre, um, pre-load chamber, so it never has to stop. While the bale is transferring out to the wrapper, it can load the pre-chamber and then uh, and then it transfers the partial bale into the main chamber while the uh, the previous bales wrapping and dropping but the consequence is is when you're cutting with mowing equipment like this fully fertilized grass and all of the fun and games that baler only runs at about one to two miles an hour um, well the quick bale is a variant on the theme it does 150 centimeter bales as well as 125s. And by virtue of the fact that you can bale and wrap 150 centimeter bales, it means the baler can run faster. I think it wraps faster as well. So it's like one of those super speed wrappers that we used to have back in Farm Sim 17 that would wrap a bale in 
two seconds rather than 15. And so, um, because it wraps faster and because it's capable of creating larger bales, it is quicker than the fast bale. So, I miss that. Um, I re you know, I looked at it and thought, well, it doesn't seem to do anything over and above what the fast bale does. So why do I want to pay attention to it? But it turns out, maybe I do. And here's Mr. UPS. I think I know what he's bringing. <laughs> No, that's Mr. UPS with something I wasn't expecting. I think I no, I've actually had an email to say it's coming, but uh, not something I explicitly ordered. I think it's uh, my medication. Um, pro or the company that ships the medication we order online because or, yeah, yes, we order mail order because you can get three months supply for the price of one month and uh, because I was reaching the end of all the prescriptions and our doctor has stopped taking uh, refill requests from pharmacies I have to put in the request myself I had doctor's appointment two weeks ago and I said well all of my medications are um, on their last yeah I, I've got three four five six weeks supply of them all um, so I'm going to need fresh prescriptions and he said yep yeah, fine okay um, I'll just write all of them and uh, because of that the pharmacy is shipping them out as and when the previous prescription has got to the point where oh you're allowed to renew this I think that's usually two to three weeks before it runs out they'll ship you a new shipment but yeah so that's one I'm not expecting because they just took it upon themselves to ship to me before I was ready for it okay so that is oh, we've got a little bit of grass there so I'll tidy that up and ooh spin around so how many more rows have I got? three is that it? I guess. Text distance texture is not the greatest, but yeah, three more rows. So way we come back again, we go that way, we come back again. So we'll end up back where we started. That's good. And I think at this point we can actually clean up and put away until spring the mowers. Um, John Deere's got a little way to run so in fact I don't think I need the John Deere for the rest of this well no I'd say I don't need it actually I will use the John Deere to uh, transport the bales because it's just big horsepower -y and uh, putting 24 bales on the back of it isn't going to strain it too much and it'll do better than the fen. The fen I'm, I'm still half a mind that I might have blown it going with the 227 horsepower engine rather than the 247 but I made that choice and it I don't think it's financially viable at this stage to go out and upgrade the engine for 50000 when what I should have done was pay that 50000 when I bought it. To 
have the big engine. Alrighty, one more row and we are done cutting. So next week we will either be in spring with a whole new set of contracts and stuff to do or I'll have been so busy doing other stuff this week that I will be bailing and shipping a bunch of bales in order to get this contract done and get some other stuff done on the farm. So yeah, there's a couple of untidy bits on this line, on on this field, but I think that for the most part, it's not going to be a significant amount extra to actually uh, uh, make a difference in the final bay on that we make. And frankly, uh, the conditioned grass that we're creating at the moment is a much better deal than hay when it comes to feeding the cows because conditioned grass just covers their entire dietary needs whereas hay covers one quarter of their dietary needs Anyway, let's get that folded, that lifted and folded. And I guess we can clean this. I'll attach this to the bale collector. a lot of manure again. We can turn the GPS off this as well. So get this all polished off and bring the Massey Ferguson, oh no, the vent over to do the raking. I don't think so. The Massey, the Massey's the cheaper tractor to run. over here we have a lot of tomatoes we have a lot of honey um, might be worth taking some honey out somewhere I uh, guess oh no don't know why there's manure in this pit because we don't have any pigs I'm still considering whether we do want to buy pigs or not, but I think that's going to cause me a lot of problems until I figure out how to uh, deal with all of the manure that we're currently producing with the cows. And the pigs are just going to add to that. which will save me leasing costs for now and maybe buy the Massey Ferguson or Fent 150 centimeter baler 
and use that for contracts only. Okay, lights. Um, Christmas tea lights off. And engine off. Engine off. Engine off. Didn't look at the bale collector. The bale collector's 94%. That's fine. Got a lot of butter to sell as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, Tidy up the bales on this field. Just because. <coughs> we'll get as much out of this field as we can and then go get the uh, tenner and run around that other field very very quickly in fact I think I would prefer to do that off camera because I can send it out on a worker uh, while I have lunch sometimes it's just convenient that way whereas uh, you know so, some jobs it's just not really great to do it with a worker I think that the tether we should be good with and then uh, let's see if I can get that nope And sometimes that bailers, you know, the, the, the thing, the doodad. Oh, maybe we, maybe we keep this small bailer just for when we're doing hay contracts. get a different uh, I can get rid of the pottinger I can get a different smaller baler wrapper for um, for doing contract silage and then eventually we might get a square baler for the main farm all that well I don't know yes we could do that and the thing with that is, is I can do, um, what would I be doing? I can do square bales on the whole crop. And that's not a big issue. Because again, we're generally doing whole crop in local fields, so I'm not having to transfer, transport them very far. We're bringing the whole crop bales back to the yard and then wrapping them using the Anderson so those bales will be bigger and the baling operation will be quicker because you don't have to stop a square baler but again I can't do that with the oh that's the cow what? oh I'm in my field <laughs> Just going a little bit crazy. I thought, uh, why is there a pig yard there? But I'm not bailing up the hay, am I? <laughs> okay, that should be mostly good. Take this down. Oh, actually. couple of bits here. Now, do we have enough here to make a bale? I don't think so. I 
Should I have mowed the bits I missed? Oh, that's always a question. Still, that bit's done, that bit's done, and grab that bit. I guess that's going into hay for the cows. Raise the whoops. Raise the thing, turn it off. Put the uh, the doodads under the wheels so it doesn't roll away. There aren't any. Oh well. I could find that at the bottom of the field then. Oh, like that bale there. I should probably grab that before we finish. But anyway, we've got 103,000 in the bank, which means that I'm not too upset with letting a worker do a little bit of work here. But uh, I don't know. I might. I might consider getting a larger windrower at some point as well. How much do they cost? Oh, windrowers. Windrowers, tedders, windrowers. Oh, very expensive. That's only 19,000. 15 meters. That's 33 at eight and a half. That thing is 12 and a half. Yeah, that's smaller. That's 90,000. Oh, that's 90,000, that's 62,000. Yes. And that's super expensive at 9.5. So something like that. 62,000 or 52,5 for the Kubota. It's 14,7, that's 14,7. So we could get the Kubota wind rower. That would speed up the rowing. But... Uh, do I have the thing attached? I do. Um, I mean, the thing, the, this wind rower is adequate for what we're doing. Full tether, turn on header, lower tether, tether stage, base game. So yes, what you can do is condition semi-dry hay, base game. Base game takes conditioned to semi, no, to hay, but you can go forwards and backwards, condition the grass if it's not conditioned. Semi-dry will make bigger um, silage bales. If you, uh, if you want to go through the palaver of mowing, um, tedding and rowing, which we don't, we just cut conditioned and bail. And then, uh, what am I on? Semi-dry. Uh, and then stage hay, which is, as I said, base game, so good enough. I'm going to put this here and set a worker. And worker E was stopped manually. Let's do that again. There goes the worker. Okay, have fun, dude. But yeah, we don't have a problem. This is going to spread the grass a little bit wide. Actually, it's not doing it that much. But yeah, that'll spread the grass. And I can come back later and row it and bale it and do whatever. Or we'll do that next week if I don't have enough time to do it during the week. But I think for now, it is midday. We have been going good enough. Um, so I will call it here. Um, I hope everyone has a good week. Likes and subscribes appreciated. Hello to people on YouTube. Who are now actually watching and f f 
everyone else, have fun, I'm out of here. <laughs>